We got to get strippers to do more podcasts. TikTok has a great community of uh, strippers. They are like spicy dancers or like spicy accountants. Yeah, I'll look up strippers on TikTok after this. That sounds like fun. Oh, no, Emily told me to. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's They art. have really good it's stories. Yeah. I look at strippers on TikTok for the stories. <laughs> It's for work. Look, I'm a socialist. I support the workers. That's why I look at strippers on TikTok for their stories. They're working storytelling. If you guys had to choose between eating candy corns and sweethearts, though. Is there a third option? No, Please. of course not. No. Please. No. I like them both, but I gotta keep sweethearts. I could just gobble up a whole gallon's worth. A little mousekeeping for today. Mary's going to be going to the bathroom a lot. Seems as uh, she <laughs> ate a lot of sweethearts. Brett, what about you? What was the question? <laughs> I tried to make a new sweetheart, but it. can you guys see what it says? Follow me on Letterboxd. On Letterboxd. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Kind of medically explains why I hate sucking dick so much. You know what I mean? Like. Yo, honestly, born that way. You know <laughs> You right, know? came up doing like, uh uh, that ain't that. This ain't, this ain't that type of operation, you feel me? I feel like right. you could say, my tongue tie made me gay, which begs the question if you were to cut my tongue tie, which is a procedure that my niece had so she could uh, be a better suckler, would I be straight? I'm just out here chomping dick after dick, you just fucking corn <laughs> on a cobbin. <laughs> So I guess, yeah, that's what, that's, that's, my niece is checking for me was, was a long winded, that was that long winded answer. Nice. When I first moved to New York, I saw all of these news stories about a guy who was giving his sperm to women in the Target bathroom of the Atlantic Terminal Target. Cause it's cheaper to just like get sperm from a guy than to like do the process of artificial insemination. Cut yeah. to four years later, I'm on a dating site. I see this guy and he's cute and he's got a, PhD in mathematics. And one of his shirts just happens to say world's greatest dad. And I look it up, it is Shut it up. Is sperm guy. It is probably should have gone on that day. Like that's a good That's a good story. Because I was like, and I, I don't like to saddle about it, but my husband, I don't know what he does. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see him coming from behind you like, hey babe, what's <laughs> up? I uh, just got off of work. Uh, I'll go back inside. Hard uh, day at the cum factory. <laughs> <laughs>